Good morning everyone. Welcome to Il Paraiso. This morning, we are going to propagate some of my philodendrons here at Il Paraiso. But before that, for those who are new to this channel, I want you to subscribe and then hit the notification bell so that if I have new videos relating to growing and cultivating orchids, you will be notified. These are the philodendrons that we are going to propagate this morning. Okay, so first, we have here the green Orlando. Try to look at this. The philodendron is already big enough to be propagated. So later on, I want you to see how I how I am going to top cut this philodendron so that you will be guided as well if you are going to propagate your philodendron in your garden. So the second philodendron that we are going to propagate this morning is this black majesty. Okay, so if you try to look at this Okay, this is already good for propagation and try to see the roots. Okay, so we have now excellent roots that even if we are going to top cut this one, this philodendron will survive. And of course, this will provide uh, small cakes or babies that we are going to replant soon okay so this is the black majesty okay so and the third philodendron that we are going to propagate is this philodendron pink princess okay so if you try to look at this there is only one leaf that is a having a variegation however some or majority of the leaves okay so we could not be able to see a variegated portion so however since for us to be able to produce more pink princess here at il paraiso so i decided to propagate this one okay so try to see this one, okay, so this is already good for propagation and try to see the roots. There are already stable roots that we could be able to make this survive after we are going to top cut this one. Okay, so these are the philodendrons that we are going to propagate this morning and later on. I am going to show you how I am going to top cut this one. And of course, I want you to see as well what are the media that I am going to use. And of course, how we are going to transfer this to another pot. So this time, we are going to top cut now the philodendrons here at El Paraiso that we are going to Propagate. Okay, so first we will have this uh, pink princess. Though it uh, made me uh, bleed to top cut this one. However, I want this pink princess to be propagated so that I could be able to produce uh, more of this in the garden. So if you try to look at this, so there are already stable roots here. One, two, and three. So, what we are going to do is we are going to cut uh, on this part here. No, so we have to make sure that the roots that we are going to have is a stable roots. Okay, so if you try to look at this, no, the roots are already stable. Okay, so we are going to cut this portion here 
Okay. So this is it. Okay. So let us try to pull off the roots. Okay. So this one. So there is a sweat uh, or sweet smell no, from the cutted portion. Okay. So this is the one that we are going to propagate this morning or this afternoon. Okay. So I hope that this portion here could be able to produce another pink princess. Okay, so we will put it here. And then, the second that we are going to propagate is this Black Majesty. Okay, so when I bought this one, there was only one leaf. And no sprout at all. However, this time, no, this is already uh, beautiful. If you try to look at it. No, the leaves are lushy and uh, I decided also to top cut this one so that this will be able to produce more Black Majesty here at El Paraiso. Okay, so the roots are already stable. Okay, so we will try to manage to take good care of the roots so that this will help the top cut to survive okay so let us try to see where could we be able to cut this one okay so i think we could be able to cut this here okay so let us try to see this one okay so we have to be careful so that we could be able to make sure that we are not totally harming the plants okay so we will cut this here okay this is it wow okay so there is a you know there is one okay here okay so try to see the roots my god no we uh, did not include the other one but uh, there are still no there are still two stable roots here and then uh, this cause okay this cause this philodendron to survive okay so we will proceed now okay so these are the two this is the pink princess and this is the black majesty okay so this will become now this will become now a mother plant so the two of this will become now a mother plant so this is the third philodendron that we are going to top cut this morning or that we are going to propagate this morning so if you try to look at this no the the roots are very healthy no the roots are very healthy so I am um, 100% sure that after we are going to top cut this one, this will survive. Okay, so let us try to see the portion that we are going to top this one, top cut this one. And then, okay, so we have to leave another or more leaves so that this will still be looked beautiful so this is what we call the green orlando or a banana leaf philodendron okay so what we are going to do is we are going to top cut this one no so if you try to look at this no there are a portion here that i think this will produce another green orlando however since um one way of propagating this is through top cutting. So, this is what we are doing this morning. Okay. So, let us try to look any portion here that we could be able to top cut this one properly. 
Okay, so I think this portion is uh, the, the the portion that we are going to cut. Okay, no? Okay, so this is it. So we have to be careful so that we could be able to top cut this properly. And of course, we could be able to preserve the roots of this philodendron. Okay. So, we have to do this slowly. Okay. okay. So, this is it. Okay. So, we have to pull this off. So, that we could be able to include the roots. Okay. So, there are stable roots here. So, we have to be careful so that we could not be able to harm the roots. Okay. So, this will become now a mother plant. Okay. So, one. So, the roots are okay. So, let us try to continue pulling this off. Okay, wait. Okay. We have to be careful. This one. Okay, the roots are really stick to the soil. Okay, so we have to cut the roots. Anyways, some of the roots are stable now. So we don't have to worry about in propagating this one. Okay, so this is it. So if you try to look at this, so this is now the one that we are going to propagate. And then this is now the, this is now the mother plant. This is now the mother plant and we are going to expect more green Orlando here at Il Paraiso uh, because we already top cut this one. So this is it. So this is the third uh, philodendron here at Il Paraiso that we are going to propagate this morning. So after performing the top cut, or top cutting, we have to make sure that this wounded portion will not be prone with the fungus. So what we are going to do is to put a cinnamon powder on this portion. Okay. So with the use of the cinnamon powder, we are sealing. No, we are sealing the wound of the plants. Okay, so if you want also to use a hydrogen peroxide, so you could be able to spray uh, hydrogen peroxide that 10 volumes, you can spray that directly, but here at Il Paraiso, since what I have here is a cinnamon powder, so I usually apply a cinnamon powder to those wounded portion of my plants or orchids so this is one way of uh, taking good care of them so that they will not be prone with fun fungus okay and we are helping them to heal this wound in a shorter period of time okay so after this one we will now proceed to the 
pink princess and black majesty okay so let us try to have this one okay this one first okay so this is it we are going to apply a cinnamon powder to the wounded heart joe no not wounded heart but wounded stem okay so this is my way of sealing the wounded portion of my plants okay this is it okay this one Okay, so we already sealed the wounded portion of the plant and this plant will be transferred to an area where they could be able to heal their wounds easily. And of course, they will be transferred to a place where they could be able to produce more kikis so that is okay so this is what I am doing every time if I will be cut a portion or a stem of my plant so we should have to seal right after in that way we could be able to make sure that they are still healthy and they will not be attacked by a fungus okay so this is it so those are the three no the three philodendrons that we sealed this morning okay so uh what we are going to do now is to mix the vermicast and the coco peat okay. so we have to mix this one okay so oh, we need to mix this of course we need to have it we need to have a pot with a proper draining or drainage system okay so what we are going to do now is this no this is already a treated cube cube cocoa husk so first we have to put a cocoa husk on the pot so this will serve as our baseline and the very purpose of this is to maintain the moisture of the soil mix okay so and then we have to add a soil mix okay so i prep i prefer to have this kind of pot no this big one so that the philodendron will be able to have an enough space for their roots okay so next is we have to have the pink princess okay so we still have to add more so we have to 
put now the pink princess. Okay, so the roots, we have to make sure that the roots is placed properly. Okay. So of course, this one. Okay, so we have to pinch this portion so that the huh, flower will not be movable. So, all of this will be placed in a shaded portion of the garden so that it is easy for them to, to grow. Okay, so this is the first. Okay.
So, thank you, Ma'am Elsiabo, for teaching me how to propagate this ornamental. Because according to her, and based from the literature that I read, we could only propagate philodendron through top cutting. have to consume all the soil mixing that we had this morning. Okay. So, these are the three philodendrons that we Top cut and propagate this morning. Okay, so lastly, we are going to put a balance fertilizer. Now, this is an osmo coat and this will help the plants to have a, bal a balance nutrition okay and of course this will also help them to have a faster growth of the roots okay so this is an osmo coat that we are going to have them okay so these are the way of propagating philodendrons so i hope that you enjoyed watching my video and thank you so much for watching until next time and of course i would like to say thank you as well to all my subscribers to all my viewers and um, after a month, I am going to have an update of this. If uh, this propagation is successful, so after a month, I am going to have another video on this. And let us try to see what would be now the condition of this propagated philodendrons after a month. Okay, so once again, thank you for watching. God bless. Bye-bye and stay safe always.